Hey guys, today I'm gonna be trying to catch a pet bluegill. It's gonna have to be really small for my tank. I have a 55 gallon aquarium and I wanna I wanna catch a really small fish and then I want it to like grow really big. Also in the winter time, I'm not gonna be able to make as much fishing videos. I might make like a couple ice fishing videos, but not nearly as many fishing videos in the winter time. So I'm gonna have to make some tank videos. So that's my solution to still making videos in the winter time and so i'm just going to be going to a pond and i got some worms hopefully i can catch some fish on here's my worm box this is where i put my worms in when i catch night crawlers at night you can if you look in there you can see them all just eating all the lettuce and all the stuff i have in there there's probably about like 50 of them in right here in the here right now i usually have even more but yeah we're gonna put a couple in a container Look at these things, they're nice and plump. If you guys want to find out how to catch night crawlers for free, instead of just buying them at the store or at like a gas station every time you go, I'm gonna put a little card right here. Yeah, right in this corner. And you can, if you click it, you can see how to catch night crawlers for free instead of buying the worms at a gas station or something. So I don't need too many worms because I'm going to split them up into little pieces gonna going for really small bluegills. And I'm only going to be keeping one today. That's the plan at least. I don't know. I might keep more, but I'm, I'm thinking about just keeping one. That should be plenty of worms. And yeah, I got some really tiny hooks that I'm going to be putting them on. So I'll see you guys at the pond when I hopefully am rigging up. We got a bucket. I got two spinning rods. One of them has a jig head on it, and this one just has a hook. I'm going to see how deep I'm fishing here. I always come here to bass fish, but I never come here to catch bluegills, really. And I got the worms here. I'm going to rig up, put half a night crawler on each one. Since we are going for little ones, I wish I was going for slaunches, but... So I'm just going to split this guy in half. And usually we're not, but today we're going for dinks. We're going for dinky bluegills. So I can watch them grow up in my tank. I think it'll be cool if, like, if I catch one today, in a year or two from now, and see just a giant fish in my tank that I caught when it was a baby. So hopefully we can make that happen today. I haven't fished with worms in like a year, so I might be a little bit rusty. So yeah, hopefully the jig head or the regular hook can catch me a fish today. A tiny fish. That's what we're looking for. See you guys on the first catch. This is where I'm going to catch my pet bluegill. Right here. This spot where I'm fishing right now, this is where I'm about to catch them. I bet if I just flick it to the left, there will be a bunch of little ones going for it. Oh, I see one. Oh, he didn't bite it that time, but he'll bite it this time. That was a bad cast, never mind. This time. Right here. Got one. It's a green sunfish. Well, I really did want a bluegill, but I was planning on keeping a green sunfish and a bluegill, so I think I'm gonna keep this green sunfish and hopefully catch a bluegill as well. If it was any bigger, I wouldn't have kept them, but here he goes. Hopefully I can catch a bluegill as well. caught one this is a green sunfish again but this one's like way bigger i don't want a big one i want to keep a small one chill out bro there he goes dude all I can catch is green sunfish. I already have one. Go back.
I just need to catch one bluegill. I didn't even talk that time because literally I've caught like 10 of them things. Like, are there any bluegills in here, bro? Yeah, I'm not having very good luck catching bluegills. I can catch all the green sunfish in the world, but it doesn't look like I can hook up on the bluegills. So I'm gonna try for like 10 more minutes probably, try to catch a bluegill. So I came here to catch a bluegill, so. I was planning on eventually keeping a green sunfish, but since that was like the perfect size that I wanted, literally the first thing I caught when I got here, I just kept it. It's a bluegill, yes. Yes. No, don't come off. Don't come off. I, I was about to be mad again and not just say anything because I thought that was a green sunfish. This is a little bluegill. I'll keep this guy. I don't know, guys. What do you guys think his name should be? We'll see. And for the green sunfish, too. I'll talk about that later when, they're, when I'm in the tank. Okay, let's put him in the bucket. Okay guys, I'm gonna go back to my house, put him in the tank, and I'll see you then. Alright guys, this is my 55 gallon tank right here. I also have a smaller 30 gallon tank right next to it. So in this tank right now, I have two snails, and I have these little tetras, and they're scared of anything, so they won't, they won't bother the fish. I had other tropical fish in here, and I tried doing the same video, but um, the tropical fish were beating up the bluegill I put in here, and I had to end up releasing him and like like scratch the entire video but these fish weren't bothering that fish at all the bluegill that i put in here earlier this was like two or three days ago and they weren't bothering him so they should be fine with these bluegill with these fish because these ones are a little bit smaller and more aggressive and they should get used to the tank faster so the pond water is a little bit dirty so i'm gonna i'm gonna be acclimating them by i'm just gonna be sucking i suck on this end here i'll show you guys it sounds weird if i just explain it because then Nobody ever understands. I have to actually do it. So you put put the tube end in, the big side in. This is how I clean, this is how people usually clean their tanks. And I'm not cleaning my tank right now, but another way to acclimate. So you take this end, so that's, that ends in there, right? You take this end, put in your mouth and you suck on it. And then the water starts coming out. So I don't want that much water coming in there that fast, so I'm going to pinch it, so it's just dripping. Like that's good. Okay, so basically you just want to drip this in there until it's almost full. I have, I have for transportation, since I was on a bike, I didn't want to fill it up too much, so I only filled it up about a quarter way. That's about a little more than a, that's about two gallons, because it's like, five gallon pail almost halfway so that's about two gallons i filled it up and they were only in this bucket for not even 30 minutes so they should be easily fine so yeah guys i'm gonna fill this up the rest of the way and i'll get back to you okay guys it's been about 15 minutes and the water temperature i have in my fish tank i tried to match it as closely as possible as i what i thought the temperature of the pond would be and i was pretty close because this water is a little bit warmer than the water i have here and well, originally it was, and then now I felt it. They're about the same temperature. So, yeah, it's been, it hasn't, I usually acclimate them for longer, but since it's basically the same temperature already, I'm just gonna plop them in there so that they can get out of this bucket. Okay, the green sunfish is going in. There he is. He's looking, he's looking good. Okay, time for Mr. Bluegill. I'm just gonna pop him in. There he is. So yeah, it'll probably take him like a day or two to get used to the tank. But this guy will get, I know has, he has good genetics for sure. But him, I don't know 100% if he, about his genetics, but like what other green sunfish are in there. But I did catch one that was a nice size that I showed you guys earlier but so hopefully I can come back to you guys in like a day or two or even maybe later today if they get used to the water fast but it usually takes about a day or two for them to get fully used to the water to the point where they'll start eating but I have some minnows in there and I have I have a couple of minnows that I caught in the creek and 
Next time I catch minnows, I'll make a video. I didn't make them last time. This tank's got a bunch of minnows in it too. I stacked this one up because I didn't want this one to just be flooded with minnows. So if I see a couple of them missing later, then I'll know that they're, they've been eaten. So hopefully I can, I'll probably get back to you guys tomorrow and see if they're biting. So I'll see you guys then. All right guys, this is the next night. It's like more, it's been more than 24 hours for sure because it's nighttime right now and I caught them in the afternoon yesterday. The fish are doing really good. So here's the bluegill. They're still kind of scared of me though. There's the bluegill. I kind of hooked him in the eye a little bit. So his eyes popping out a little bit, but that should heal after time. The bluegill is mainly in the mid to high water column of the tank. And the green sunfish is usually in the mid to low water column of the tank. But they're both in the middle a lot. And they'll, but I just found that out. As you can see, there's still some minnows in here. They didn't eat any minnows, but I saw them chase. I saw the green sunfish was chasing a couple. And the bluegill I saw chase like one. But if I I forgot if I told you guys this or not, but I have two snails. Just so you guys aren't like, what's that thing on the bottom? I fed them a worm earlier, and they each got a little piece of a worm. They still don't know when it's feeding time. Like if I open it, they're not gonna be all happy. They're kinda like are hiding when I open the lid, put in food, but I got some worms right here. So there's a little worm, I'm gonna drop it in once they both look. There it is. Oh, the bluegill got it. I don't know why they're not eating the minnows. Those, same, those minnows came from the same um, body of water that the fish I got from. The bluegill just ate a worm. We'll throw in this other little piece, see if the green sunfish will eat it. He ate two of them earlier, so like a couple hours ago, so he might not eat, but he should eat. Once he's done playing around in the water, that's coming out there. Oh, the bluegill almost hit it again. Well, the green sunfish clearly didn't see it, but he ate earlier, so I wouldn't fully expect him to eat it. Besides talking about the fish, let's talk about their names. So these two fish need some names. I have some ideas in my head right now, but I'm going to let the comment section name these fish. So comment below what you think their name should be. And I was thinking maybe do the same, their name, like the same letter as their, as the name. So like, you know how the bluegill's name starts with a B, like bluegill? Name, the the name you give him, try to start it with a B, because I think that'd sound like funny, I don't know. Like, um, Bill the bluegill or Bob the bluegill or something like that. And then for the sunfish, just say like, the a G, another, a name that starts with a G, like Gary or, I don't know, just stop, something with a G for the green sunfish and then something with a B for the bluegill. Well, get, give your own opinion, but try to come up with something kind of unique. But yeah, I think these guys are gonna do good in this 55 gallon aquarium. They have plenty of oxygen coming in. They got a, a bubble wall here and a bubble wall here. And there's also a, a filter underneath the gravel on both sides. And then the um, water flows back out the top and that's a, good little current and that's on both sides and there's also a regular filter like a top filter I got plenty of food I got minnows I got worms I'll probably feed them some craws maybe like super tiny ones when they get bigger so yeah this this will be pretty fun just leave a comment below what you think their name should be I was thinking for names this is just my opinion but if you're thinking the same thing, like if you want it to be named that, I'll still name it. But I was thinking um, the bluegill could be named Bob, like Bob the bluegill, kind of like Bob the builder, but like, you know, a bluegill. And then, I don't know, doesn't he just look like a Gary to you? Like Gary the green sunfish? Like, just come on. You, you can't tell me that he doesn't look like a Gary. But anyway, um, leave a comment below what you think their name should be. I said that like 10 times already, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I call it bluegill and a green sunfish. 
and hopefully the next fish I catch will be like a perch or something. I don't know, I want one more fish, one more pan fish in here. So comment below also what do you what you think I should put in here as well. Whether it be another bluegill or green sunfish or like a perch or I was thinking a perch, but maybe a crappie or I don't know. Just leave a comment below what you think and I'll see you guys next week.